Hello, welcome to another tutorial on Audacity for the Heads Seniors Computer Club. Today we'll be looking at um, more editing tools in Audacity, importing audio files, and exporting your final product to either CD or MP3. And uh, to start off with, we're going to look at some tools. Now, to do that, I'm just going to import a file that I already have saved. So we go down to the import menu from file menu to import, choose audio, and in there you find your music folder and there's a few songs there. I'll just pick this one. This example is good because it's very loud and it shows you uh, what we can do with recordings that are loud, although it's probably not a good idea to start off with a loud recording. If you just happen to have one, like I do, there are a few things we can do to adjust it. So, let me start off with um, some of these tools over here. You, we covered the Magnify tool before. If you need to zoom in on a section, you can do that. And just uh, notice that makes everything bigger, so you have to scroll backwards and forwards to find it. And if you've gone too far, you can press the Shift key. Notice how you get the minus on the uh, magnifying glass and go back again a little bit. Okay, um, now just say for example you want to fade out the end of the track. So one of the tools we can use there is select the end of the track. It's also a good idea just to delete the, the bit at the end first. Select the end of the track, go up to effects, and as you can see there are a lot of effects. Find the fade out effect, click on that, and you'll see how it just tapers off uh, with a nice little fade out. So that's one thing you can do. Don't forget, if you make a mistake, undo. Always undo the last thing or as many things as you want to. Now let's just, um, I'll show you another, another way of doing that. It's quite handy to uh, have multiple techniques. Well, let's go back to uh, a size, a decent size we can see in the whole window. That's the whole song. And um, we won't, we'll just select the whole song now. Now, one of the things we're selecting is you can click over here in the grey area to select the whole song. I'm going to look at this. This is called an on envelope or envelope tool. When you click it, you get a little um, purple line on top. I'll just go out of it, back into it again, see? And um, what you can do is you can either take the whole song down like that, which reduces the whole sound, or you can hit little, um, you can click with your mouse to make little white points. So it will take part of the song down as you go along. So that's quite a handy tool, the envelope tool. And you can combine that with the fade out tool. And uh, by doing that, go back to the select, select the end now that you've, you've brought that down a little bit, you can fade out the end there as well. And you'll notice that, that gives you a nice even fade out. I'll just show you what that sounds like. So that could be a handy thing to do with your vinyl records when we when you record them there are other tools in here that you might need to use like noise removal when you click that they'll ask you things like what frequency um, what sort of decibel levels um, to choose and that uh, and you can remove that are isolated. Good thing about all of these tools is there's a preview button so you can actually see what it um, gives you if you decide to, uh, to choose any of these things. Um, you can preview. I'll show you another one that's got a preview that we can see. Equalization is very handy because that allow you just if you've ever used a graphic equalizer you can set a nice curve to bring the sound levels at the high end and the low end down a bit so they don't they're not too harsh. Now on a preview of that, it'll just play. It won't actually show you what it looks like. So it'll it'll play the song to see if you're happy with that. And if you're happy with that, you click OK. And that will actually, as you saw that happen, it'll uh, lower the level slightly in the high and the lows that I've chosen. So that's quite handy for adjusting your recordings. They're the main things you're going to need. Uh, there is one 
effect called Amplify, which is also quite good for just bringing the whole lot down. Amplify doesn't just make it higher by dragging to the right, you can drag to the left and make it lower. And uh, just remember though that dB is uh, quite a lot, so if you, if you went down 4 dB it would almost halve the, um, halve the sound. So that's very quiet now, and if I accepted that, you'll notice that it's gone down quite a lot. So I'll undo that because that was a bit too much. Maybe maybe 2 dB would have been better. So you can go back and go uh, equalize. Oh, that wasn't the one, was it? It was um, normalize, equalize. What was it we used? Compress. There's all sorts of different things to use to do that. And um, amplify. It's the one we used. So we'll just go down maybe oh, 2, if you can get there. And you see that brings it down just a little bit so that uh, it's not too distorted now. Okay, so there's a few tools you can use. Now it's always a good idea when you're in uh, in the project, this is called a project, to save that project. And don't forget to uh, go to the save project, if it's a brand new one, save project as. It will give you a little warning here, which is very important information, that says you are just saving the project, it creates the project file, um, and the sound is saved, but not as an audio file format. So you need to make sure that when you need to save the audio file format, you use file export. Just just a reminder to do that. But this will save the file for coming back later and editing it. So you can put in uh, whatever you want to there, put in your name, doesn't really matter what you call it, and it will save it as a .aup. I guess that's Audacio, Audacity Project. Okay, that's saved there for bringing it back. When you want to open it again, you can go to the open or open recent. See how I've just saved that one there, open recent. You'll see that there. Uh, however, to make something for your external medium like a CD or an MP3, iPod, you need to export this file. So we're going to export the file. Normally export, when you first start up Audacity, will just do a WAV file. So you'll see how I'm exporting this file, it says WAV file, and um, that's the normal format for CD, so that's fine, you can just click save on that. And it asks you for some information, which can be handy if your um, CD player captures this information and will play tell you what track's being played. You don't have to change that if you don't want to. And that's saved now as a WAV file. Now, the other format for MP3 players is obviously MP3 format. The difference between WAV and MP3 um, is a bit like the difference between bitmap and JPEG in a photograph. So a bitmap is a full size thing and um, it's quite large and a JPEG is a smaller version of it. Normally we can't tell the difference uh, unless you really look at a lot of detail. That's the same with sound files. MP3 is a um, compressed, they call it lossy version of the WAV file, and it's a, there's a factor of um, 10 to 1 actually of uh, compression, so a file, 3 minute WAV file will be 30 megabytes, and a 3 minute MP3 file will be 3 megabytes approximately, just a little bit more, so that's how you know. Now when you first uh, export as a WAV file from your newly installed Audacity, you will notice, and I don't think this will happen because I have already done it, you will notice that it will say to you, after I, after you fill in the details here, it will say to you, you don't have a plugin for MP3. I'm pretty sure I've got that already. I'll just test it. So I've already done that and it's exporting my now as MP3. So that's fine. But I'll show you what happens is it says you need this plugin. Click OK. And what you do is you click that you need the plugin and it will take you to your internet browser, which is in my version it's Chrome, and it will take you to this page here. And uh, it sounds like a pretty dodgy page by the look of it, but um, it does actually work. So just don't be careful, don't click on these big download buttons, they're always the danger and uh, give you give you things you don't want. Um, what will happen is you, can, you just read it and say click here for a Windows user or click here for a Mac user. When you're a Windows user, it takes you to almost the same spot anyway, you'll notice that you need to download this for Windows. Okay, Don't worry about the zip option unless you want to save space. It's not that big. That'll install that plugin for you 
and the next time you go to save it, export the mp3 it'll ask you where did you put the plugin so just remember where it gets downloaded to it might be your download folder or somewhere or you can move it solves the problem and then you can export mp3 okay, a little bit tricky I might show you a live version uh, on the day we'll see how we go so that's that's all there is to exporting your mp3 and uh, hopefully you can use windows to create your cd or um, mp3 file okay thank you